Without objection, so ordered. Mr. President, a few weeks ago, U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, otherwise known as ICE, initiated an unexplainable uh, order uh, to take action to reduce the population of detained illegal aliens. And they said it was for budgetary reasons. And I quote a spokesman for ICE who said, the decision was made because fiscal uncertainty remains over the continuing resolution and possible sequestration. Well, we've had fiscal uncertainty for now for four years. And, um, uh, but the decision to release these detainees was made before the sequestration even took place. And the procedures put in place under the continuing resolution and the resources for covering the costs of detaining these illegal immigrants until they could be brought to trial and sent back home. Uh, the funds for that were put in place by the, by the uh, funding that we provided for them in September running through the end of this month or to March 27th. And so a lot of questions were raised that I think needed be, to be answered because there was a furor over this idea of why are we releasing and putting back out on the streets in America, a lot of this was in Arizona, why are we putting these people back out on the streets um, when it, the, the law didn't require it, uh, the resources were there to keep them there, um, they were put out before the sequestration, sequestration even took place, or the across the board cuts even took place, and I just wanted to get some answers. And so I wrote Secretary Napolitano a letter asking her um, to provide answers to a series of questions, which I'll, I'll uh, state in just a moment, uh, and had the answer to me in my office by Friday, March 8th. Well, we returned today um, to find that that answer was not there. I could give the Secretary the benefit of the doubt, saying uh, it's, it's in the mail. Uh, we know that uh, that doesn't always guarantee next day delivery. Nevertheless, uh, I think the American people, and particularly those impacted, those communities impacted by these illegal immigrants, uh, not knowing who they are, uh, not knowing why they're released, not knowing whether we can uh, bring them back to stand uh, before a judge, uh, plead their case, uh, or be processed for return to where they came from. Uh, but roaming the streets, so alarms of uh, the law enforcement officials in these communities are, are up in arms, uh, saying they don't know who these people are, they don't know whether they're criminals, they don't know whether they're uh, ever going to be able to, uh, to, to bring them back into uh, the ICE system uh, and be detained and ready for uh, processing. And so uh, uh, that is why I asked the secretary to uh, respond to my letter. Now, subsequent to that, officials at ICE uh, have denied recent press reports regarding plans to release even more detained illegal immigrants. Uh, but just last Tuesday, an internal ICE document obtained by the House Judiciary Committee revealed a plan of ICE to continue reducing detention center populations each week while the sequestration was in place. And that document shows one scenario where the number of illegal immigrants in custody could be re reduced by more than 1,000 a week between February 15th and March 31st. The initial reports were that was just a couple hundred. I think 300 was the, the uh, number given, only to find out that it was more than 1,000. And now we find out that it may be more than 1,000 each week for about a six or seven week period of time. So what we're trying to do is get the facts here and get an explanation of what has happened uh, why it took place in the manner that it did, uh, what's the administration's plan for going forward with this. Uh, I'm doing this because as ranking member on the Appropriations Committee for Homeland Security, uh, I'm getting all kinds of questions from people, not just my colleagues, but uh, others across the country basically saying, what's going on here? Uh, and I would like to be able to respond to those questions with answers or have the department respond. As the head of the department, the Secretary Napolitano needs to provide information on who made this decision, why this decision was made, uh, why was it made before the sequestration even took effect, 
Why was the, the number uh, released of around 300 when it was well over 1,000? And a whole number of, of other uh, questions. Thus, uh, release of this detained information is, uh, and denial of that uh, has the potential to put these communities at risk, which they already are, and sends a message to those who come here and break the law as illegal immigrants that our government's not serious. Uh, I'm sure word is spreading through Mexico and other ports of entry for illegal immigrants that, uh, well, don't worry, you may get picked up, you may get put in a detention center, they'll provide bed and food and so forth and so on, but they're releasing 1,000 a week, and I can just see the traffickers now pitching this to tens of hundreds or thousands of people, taking their money, getting them across the border, breaching the fence or tunneling under the fence or climbing over the fence um, or any of the number of other ways that they are bringing illegals into this country. And I spent three days down on the border and it's, uh, while we were making some strides, we've got a long way to go to stop this illegal immigration. Uh, so we, we need clarification and we need an explanation of, of what is happening here. Let me just uh, state uh, what's some of the questions that I've raised uh, to the secretary and why we need this uh, information. Why did the federal government release detained illegal immigrants one week before the sequester took effect and blame it on budget cuts when those cuts had not even yet gone in place? Why didn't ICE take the proper steps necessary to manage its resources efficiently across the various programs? As I said earlier, the Congress itself provided them with adequate resources to maintain a level of 34,000 illegal detainees um, uh, and not go below, they did not need to go below that number because they had the resources to pay for that. Um, we had provided that by law and they were required by law to do that. What triggered ICE to instruct field offices to reduce the detainee population a week before the sequester hit? How many illegal immigrants were released during that time? Exactly how many of these individuals were released solely due to budget reasons? How many of the released individuals, if any, were designated as criminal? Law enforcement people obviously have to know that. Have instructions been given to field offices to reduce the intake and arrests of illegal aliens into detention? And these are just some of the many questions that I asked Secretary Napolitano because I think the Congress and the American people deserve answers to these questions. As the head of the department, Secretary Napolitano has the ultimate responsibility to oversee the decisions and management of agency resources. She said this decision was made at a level below her. Uh, we hear a lot of that from administration officials. It's not my fault, it's somebody else's fault. Ultimately, that's why they rise to the position of secretary, is that is, they're the ones that ultimately oversee the program and need to take responsibility, or at least need to answer a question posed by a member of the Senate as to why they did what they did and how we're going to fix this. So failing to respond to the Congress and to our request, and failure to provide the American people with more information behind this decision is just simply not something we should accept. And I will keep pressing for these answers. Mr. President, I yield the floor and suggest the absence of a quorum. Clerk will call the roll.